So how can we adjust the brightness of an image or even darken the image? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, I am going to show you the steps to brighten or darken an image as per our requirement as well as show its implementation using Python's OpenCV. So watch this video till the end. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. If you want to build some extra machine learning, deep learning and AI based projects, video series of which will be available in both Hindi and English languages then consider hitting the join membership button down below. You can see the demo of one such project titled as detect emotion and play music video at the end of this video. We now have the AI university app and the website which is in beta mode right now. You can download the code related Jupyter notebooks by enrolling to this course right here on the AI university website. All the courses are offered free on the AI university website. You can access the related quizzes and certificate of course completion like this from the AI University once I upload all the videos and once you complete all the tutorials including final quiz. So let's move on. So if we increase the brightness of an image then it will light out all the colors. On the contrary decreasing brightness will darken all colors. So the original shaded colors will become up to black. Now contrast tells us uh, the uh, you know distinction between lighter and darker areas of an image. Contrast makes more obvious the object or details within an image. We can increase or decrease the brightness using OpenCV by uh, adding or subtracting the matrices from an image. This addition or subtraction of the matrices gives an effect of increasing or decreasing the brightness. I am going to show you how to do it in a while. So we will be using NumPy to create such matrices or metrics. So let me quickly open the Jupyter Notebook. So you can see that we are first importing our uh, familiar CV2 and NumPy modules. In the next line we are reading our image using imread function giving the path of the image as an argument and storing it in a variable called as image data underscore BRT. Next I am using imshow function to show you the original input image and next we are making a use of numpy function called once to create a matrix with the dimensions same as our image dimensions. So as you can see here, uh, so it creates a matrix of dimension same as our image dimension by making use of shape function. Second argument defines the data type as unsigned int which is a way OpenCV utilizes to store the image data. Then we are multiplying this matrix with the scalar value 60. Okay, And next I am uh, printing this uh, matrix to show you how it looks like. So as I told you earlier we can increase or decrease the brightness in OpenCV by adding or subtracting the matrices from an image and this matrix is uh, that matrix we are going to use for addition and subtraction. Next I am using OpenCV's add function to add image matrix and the matrix we created here which is nothing but the intensity matrix. So we named our uh, matrix which we created using np.once uh, as intensity underscore matrix and that's what we are printing here and that's what we are going to use later in the video. Moving on, so both of these matrix image data underscore BRT and intensity underscore matrix has same dimensions. Then I am using I am show function to show the image which will get brightened after this operation. Next I am using OpenCV's uh, subtract function to subtract matrix we created from the image matrix. Both of these uh, matrices has same dimensions and then I am using this I am show function to show the image which will get dark after this operation. Usage of a wait key and a destroy all functions we already know from the past videos. 
and if you don't know about that then um, I have provided a link of that video in the i button above so you can just click on it and uh, get more details around it so now let me run this cell so when I run this cell you can see that we have our original image which is this one and then we have another image uh, this one which has this bright as the title and this image is quite brighter as compared to our original image right then we have another image which is quite a darker right as you can see here so this is our original image and this is the darker image now let's take a look at the matrix we created the intensity matrix we created so you can see uh, down below here uh, our intensity matrix looks like this right so it has all the values mentioned as 60 because 1 multiplied by 60 is 60 and if you remember we made use of numpy's once function that created the matrix with all the elements inside it mentioned as once and when we multiplied it with 60 the matrix has all the elements as 60 now let's try one more thing uh, let's change this scalar value to 160 rather so first close our windows and then change the value to 160 here and then rerun the cell so this is our original image this is the bright image and this is the dark image so you can see this when we change the scalar value to 160 this brighter image become more brighter or right now it is brightest image right and the darker image becomes more dark right so what's happening here well we know that rgb color values in an image ranges from 0 to 255 so in case of darker image you are subtracting the matrix values 160 which is bringing the rgb values closer to 0 hence making it more darker in case of brighter image we are adding the matrix values 160 which is bringing the rgb values closer to 255 hence making it more brighter we may get some clipping in the image because we can't exceed the uh, range of 0 and 255 and whenever we add or subtract matrices we might get clippings so this is all about this video now let me show you the demo of the application i talked about in the beginning of the video You can see that camera has captured my expression as happy and YouTube has presented the list of happy songs and you can see that VLC media player has also been opened up and one of the video got played automatically. So this application captured my expression as happy and then open the list of related uh, emotion songs here in the YouTube and then play the music video in the VLC media player and now it will be automatically closed and you can also see that it has rightly captured the expression as happy so when I ran this cell it gave me the prediction of my face expression as happy which is pretty much right so folks hit the join button given below beside the subscribe button to get the access for such amazing project series along with source code. So this is it for this video. In the next upcoming video I will cover another important topic of computer vision using OpenCV series. So here is today's question. State true or false. In the video the scalar value is an entity which is controlling the brightness intensity of an image. Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.